Don't worry, this is an InDesign tutorial. I'm just starting off momentarily here inside of Photoshop. Got my layers panel just here. We have a forest graphic, a white logo against a black background on this second layer, and the third layer just here is a black logo against a white background. Now we don't want to have to worry about masking and selections, all that kind of stuff. So traditionally, we would take advantage of blending modes to drop these background colors away. So the top one just here, the black against the white. We want to keep the black, lose the white, so we would use a blending mode, which we can find up here, of multiply. And the white drops away, very nice. Let's go and choose this one in the bottom right corner just here. We want to keep the white, lose the black, so we would change the blending mode to screen. Now let's say we wanted to make this look more like a watermark. So we would then go after the opacity option just up here and bring that down to something like 23%, looks great. Okay, so that's the blending modes and the opacity, which you can see when you select a layer at the top of the layers panel just there. Let's jump over now into InDesign. You can see I have recreated that same look just here. Here inside of the layers panel, there's our forest image and our two logos sitting on top. So I'm going to select this logo just here, the black logo against the white background, and then let's try and find the blending modes. Okay, so we're in the properties panel just here. Now I can see an opacity section just over here, so we can drop it down, but where are the blending modes? Well, notice the word opacity has an underline under it. If I click on that, it opens up this panel just here, which includes the blending modes. So if I go and change that to multiply, very nice. There's that same look we achieved in Photoshop a moment ago. Now, for those of you with a keen eye, you might recognize this thing is basically just the effects panel. So window effects, and I'll just dock this down here. Now you don't have to work out of here. I just wanted to point this out. So if I open that up again, you can see this is basically just this. Okay, let's go and change the other one. So I'm selecting the logo in the bottom right. So let's go up to uh, opacity and let's change the blend mode to screen. And then I can bring the opacity down like so. Very nice. I have a second example I want to show you guys. It's this highly designed example just here with these two overlapping circles. So you can see my layers panel just here. It's literally just two circles with fills and strokes applied. Now, if I select this one just here, and let's, uh, let's work out of the effects panel just for now. So let's say I wanted to change its blending mode for the object to multiply. Very easy to do. Let's put that back to normal. Now, I wanted to point out, InDesign is extremely powerful because not only can you change the blending modes and the opacity for the object as a whole, you can also go after individually the stroke and or the fill. So I've selected the fill. If I change that to say multiply, check it out. The fill has indeed taken on a blend mode of multiply, but the stroke remains unchanged. Now, let's say for some wacky reason, I wanted to change the stroke opacity to 50%. I'll select the stroke and bring that down to 50%. And we can see the result just there. Now it's not pretty guys, but it's an incredibly powerful feature to know actually exists. Also though, keep in mind, just because you can do this doesn't mean you necessarily should. When it comes to blending modes inside of InDesign, you should always be thinking about where you're ultimately going to be exporting out your material to. So are you making a PDF? Are you making HTML content? Because those blending modes might not actually survive the exporting process. So that's the blending and opacity options here inside of InDesign. Features that you would often be using inside of Photoshop, but might not be able to immediately find here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.